Hello and welcome to my second Java Media Framework tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, download the API specification. You can download it from this link, Reference, API Specifications. And if you go to the 2.0 API, you can see here's the download link to the API specification. But there is also a download link to the JMF 2.0 API guide. This is a comprehensive guide about using Java Media Framework and if you are serious about using Java Media Framework I encourage you to read it. I'm going to I have already downloaded the Java Media Framework API specification. I downloaded it and I'm just going to show you I extracted it and clicked at the index. From the index I clicked at the packages javax.media and the package javax.media and I found the player interface. Here you can read about the different states the player can be in and what methods are allowed in the different states. But the API guide is more comprehensive than this. I'm just going to be show you one method I'm going to use in this tutorial, the start method. The start method can be called um, whenever the player is um, not in the unrealized state. I'm going to show you the class manager2. This, this class creates the player and it will um, you can create a realized player by using this method and you have to use the set hints method if you want to um, if you want to do what I what I'm doing because we're using lightweight components and this set hint um, sets the manager to create lightweight components not and not create the heavyweight components okay I'm uh, just closing and showing you that I have created um, a class called simple player main class this class uh, main the main method in this class um, creates creates a file chooser right from the get go, and opens the, opens the dialog. This dialog is open, and if the user presses the OK button, then it will try to uh, create this URL object from the file that the u user have chosen, and then it will create a show the uh, graphical user interface and I'm passing the URL. This method create and show GUI um, creates a simple player uh, um, cl uh, object and and I have the um, simple player um, class right here I'm going to show you afterwards. I'm just going to tell you that I'm passing the title to the um, simple player and I'm passing the um, URL and setting the default close duration, setting size, setting visible. Here you can see it extends the JFrame and I'm passing in the title and the URL. Here I'm calling the super super class to set the title. I like doing it this way. Alright, now I will try to import some um, Java Media Framework classes. But as you can see, it's not working right now. That's because I haven't set the um, Eclipse to uh, use the classes. I have to do that first. So I'm going to my um, project and right click it and click properties. Here I'm clicking on the Java build path and clicking add library. Click on user libraries and clicking next. Clicking user libraries again. Here I'm clicking, I'm clicking new to add a new user library and adding the name JMF library. Clicking OK and now I want to add some jars. I'm adding the jars from a JMF installation folder in inside from the lib folder inside the JMF installation folder. I'm sorry. And I'm adding all the jars.
Now I'm going to add the source attachment, click edit and e click external folder. By default it should be in the lib folder, it should be um, using the lib folder. So I'm just going to click OK and you can see the path right here, it, it's, it, it's OK. I'm just going to make sure that I have attached the source, source attachment to all the jar files and it's, it looks good. Clicking OK and finish. OK. Now you can see it has registered the, the class and now I can move on. Importing the manager. No player exception. Cannot realize. Oh. Cannot realize exception. And if you have been working with files and streams, you are familiar with this class exception now I'm going to create a field called player oh this is the player object and now I'm going to create a try block and I want to create this player. So I'm creating this method and passing the URL. Okay, but before I want to create the player, I'm just gonna tell the manager to use lightweight components. Okay. We're doing this because we're using the lightweight component JFrame from the string package. Here, I'm adding some throws. Okay. Now I want to create a realized player. And passing the URL to the method. We're creating the realized player because we want to show the components from the player right from the get go. So I'm just going to import and see it now I want to check if the um, 
if the player has any um, visual um, components. First, I'm going to try to see if the player has a screen and set the component I just created to be equal to player. That get visual component. And if the, this visual component, if that's uh, different from now, it has um, a screen, I'm going to add it to the add it to the JFrame. Okay, I'm just going to copy this because I want to add the controls to play button and so. This is the control panel component. And I'm going to add this to south. Now, here I'm going to catch the exceptions. And print the stack trace if any exception occurs. La 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 la. Just gonna copy this twice. And gonna copy here. Okay. And we should be good to go. That's my telephone again, but no one's calling. It's just okay. I'm I'm running the app now, and as you see, the J file just opens right from the get-go. And I'm gonna open a video. Here I get my screen. I'm pressing play now, and as you can see, it's working properly. I want to tell you one thing, that I can, if I want to, um, start the player, right? Right from the beginning, um, with this, the start method from the, pl the player interface. Um, if the player is not realized, you cannot get the component because then the player does not know which, what kind of uh, media is going to uh, be playing. So you have to create a realized player to add the components right, uh, right from the start. You can create, uh, just create a player and then um, use the controller listener. Um, I'm going to show you that in the next tutorial when I'm uh, creating an applet that's using a player. I'm trying to go ahead and run this now so you can see what's going on and I get the um, I get the J file chooser going to open the same file again and it starts right away that was my tutorial my intro tutorial to the using the Java media framework and in the next tutorial as, as I said earlier I'm going to show you how to use the uh, Java media framework to um, work with the uh, apples. Thank you.